Good. We're on, bro. I didn't want to do it, but then I saw his back come up. <laughs> so I went through great lengths to make that happen, so I felt bad not for showing my other deal. Yeah, I'm off here. Mr. Step makes this. <laughs> How much longer until you break Ray Allen's three-point record? I mean, you're you're in the, in the booth right now, so it's your job to know these stats, to be able to do the quick math. But I, I don't know. What do you think? 40 games? It's, it's, he's 400 behind Clay. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Two seasons. Let's wait for you to say speed. The halo right now. Speed the halo is good. Long loaf. Short bread and long loaf, Clay. You're making a habit to the play-by-play. -play. Watch this. Watch this. Is it a short bread? Soon he's probably mad about that. Who knows? Oh, shots. <laughs> you over here checking my guy. Uh, you good? <laughs> Five over here trying to start something like he's a good player or something. It's like, bro, get out of here. You might be. Sorry. All right, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> Go in. <laughs> Amazing. Welcome back to the jump. I'm Rachel Nichols. Still hanging out with Kendrick Perkins, Zach Lowe. I, first of all, I would just like to point out when we saw Clay interviewing Steph there, see, it's not so easy to do that job, Clay, okay? He was looking down at his notes. He didn't have the right numbers. I'm just saying. I will say, however, he completely redeemed himself with the colorful way that he described Rodney Magruder on that Warriors broadcast. That is keeping it real for the fans. And unfortunately for Magruder, Draymond Green also had quite a bit to say about Magruder after the game. Let's roll that as well. Apparently he was um, taken up for Wayne Ellington. When did Roddy Magruder become the tough guy of the team? Like, I don't know, man. Everybody in the league tough these days. It's crazy. I've seen a lot of tough guys this year. I don't understand it. And, and, and don't nobody do anything. <laughs> Also, I think it was something that, like, that Juan said in the first or second quarter to Wayne Ellington. You ain't got nothing better to do that you still thinking about something from the first or second quarter when you weren't in the game. So apparently, um, Wayne Ellington must have went over to the bench. I guess he went and told um, Rodney McGruder because he hadn't been in the game. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. There's too many tough guys in this league these days for me. But I know ain't nobody scared of no damn Rodney the Gruber. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't even know what to do with all of this. I saw someone on Twitter afterwards said that that should just be Draymond's Hall of Fame speech, and we're done. Um, Zach, you know whose favorite. comments stung more, Clay or Draymond? Well, look, this is if, if this is the price of getting unfiltered Clay Thompson. I'm willing to throw my Rodney Magruder under the bus to get unfiltered Clay Thompson. I'm sorry. But I will say, this felt a little bit like bullying to me. Like, Rodney Magruder's just trying to fight and scrap for his NBA career, and Draymond and Clay are Hall of Famers, multi-time All-Stars. He let Rodney Magruder be. We don't need to go off for five minutes about... Did you see the Warriors broadcast put down five minutes per game in four games this season? They're, even the Warriors broadcast got into bullying Rodney Magruder. Poor guy. My God. Mm. Well, <clears throat> well, I'm going to say this. I, I don't applaud him. I don't like him. To me, Rachel and Zach, I, I thought this was very corny. When you look at a guy like Rodney Magruder, who was undrafted in 2013, who's been fighting his way, went down to the G League, and is still on the roster here today in the year 2021, a guy that has to fight every single offseason, go into training camp and prove himself. And we all know how hard it is just to get to the NBA. It's even harder to stay in the NBA. And they have a 15 or 14 guy on every roster that fights for their position and be that guy on the bench. All he was doing was standing up for his teammates. And I love Clay, but he didn't, I, I can't roll with him on this statement that just wasn't right. And far as Draymond talking about a lot of tough guys in the league, I love Draymond, but he talked just as much as anybody. And nobody really is doing nothing outside of talking because Draymond is not doing anything to nobody when he sees somebody Chihuahua. outside in the offseason, outside the court when the season is over. Because I could recall the incident where Tristan Thompson had to address him and he copped the plea. So at the end of the day, look, <laughs> I don't agree with Clay's uh, statement. I know it was good. It was funny at the time. 
But a guy like Rodney <laughs> Magruder, Magruder, who's who's actually fighting for his job, ninety, I mean, year after year after year, and is still surviving in the league. They have a lot of guys that are on rosters like that, and I just can't roll with that state. Put on the glass, well, I respect pull all up. of that, and I do think that's important. But also, this is an issue that Rodney Magruder came over. He went toward the Warriors tunnel. In fact, there were reports afterward that the league was going to look into that because it violates some of the protocols that they have set up. And, and we have a league where people are constantly saying, oh, I wish it had the toughness. I wish we had the toughness of the old days, the 90s, and the NBA. I'm not sure that anything that was said on the broadcast or in the post-game press conference rises to the level of sort of the back and forths and, and the beefs and, and the stuff that we saw in the old school NBA. Talking. So I don't know. Sticks and stones on the words to me. And, Bricks and, and bones. I mean, now we gotta, we're going to watch the next Warriors-Pistons game whenever that happens, I guess, next season. So <laughs> we'll have something to talk about. Uh, here's what the jump recommends for today. ESPN.com's latest power rankings are out, guys. There's a new number one, the L.A. Clippers. We'll talk about them next, so check those out. First, though, black history is happening all the time. In honor of that, here's a look back at Texas Western 1966 National Championship team, courtesy of the Undefeated. Lift every voice and... In the 1966 National Championship game, Texas Western coach Don Haskins made history by fielding an all-black starting lineup versus an all-white Kentucky team. The Miners lineup led Texas Western to a national title, beating the Adolph Rupp coach team 72-65. That game inspired Southern College teams to recruit more black players. 